Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this lesson, I thought it would be a good idea to show you how to import and export Unity packages. Unity packages are a lot like having a zip file where you have several different files and directories that you then condense down into one single file. And Unity makes it super easy to import and export their package format. Now Unity packages can be super helpful when you're working on a collaborative project or if you have an asset that you've created that you wish to sell on the Unity Asset Store. And speaking of collaborative projects, we are currently working on our first ever global collaboration project with all of our subscribers and whoever else wants to participate. If you're interested in gaining some game development experience while working on a fun collaborative project, then join our newly created Discord and become a member of our team. There's an invitation link to our Discord in the description below. Now another reason why I wanted to create this tutorial is for if you choose to join our collaborative project. As a member of our team, you'll be added as a collaborator to our GitHub repository. On there, you'll be able to upload and submit assets that you want to have included in our game. And to make things easier, we hope that you'll use this tutorial and upload your assets as Unity packages. Now let's get started with the lesson. Alright, so here we have our Season 1 collaborative project open inside of Unity. And everything that I do in this lesson will be an example for the sake of this tutorial and won't necessarily be the final result for this project. Now most of the time when you're exporting a Unity package, you're exporting more than one file and you want those files to work the exact same way that they are currently working in your Unity project. Now you could be exporting a Unity package because you want to sell it or make it available on the Unity Asset Store or maybe it's somewhat of a template or framework that you want to have implemented into every single one of your projects. Or maybe it's an asset that you want to send to a friend or upload to a collaborative project. The cool thing about Unity packages and the reason why it makes it so easy to share your assets is because you personally collect all the files needed into a single project and you get those files working exactly the way you want them to work and then you export the files that you need including demo scenes and prefabs and if all of the files are self-contained then anybody should be able to import your package and have it working exactly the same way that you did in your project. So for this example I have this 3D modeled spaceship which was actually created by one of our subscribers who goes by the name Robman2100. He was able to submit this asset to our collaborative project and so hopefully we'll be able to use this spaceship within our game. Now I've added the spaceship to our scene as a child to an empty game object which I've called player and then I attached a player controller script to this game object along with a capsule collider. Now at the moment this script doesn't do anything but let's pretend that this is a completed asset and we're ready to export it as a unity package. The first thing that we would want to do is create a prefab out of our player object. So I'm going to select our player object from our hierarchy and drag it into my prefabs folder. The other thing that we could do is if we had a scene that was all set up to demonstrate how this prefab works, we could then save that scene as a demo scene. To do this, all we have to do is go to our file drop down menu and then go to save scene as, and then I'm going to save this scene within a folder called demos and I'm going to call this Spaceship Demo. So once we have our demo scenes and our prefabs created and all of our files are working together the way that they should be, it's time to export these files as a Unity package. To do this, we want to make sure that we have our Assets folder selected, and then we'll go up to our Assets drop-down menu and select Export Package. You'll then see this window here which displays all of the files that you have within your project and here you can toggle on and off the files that you want to be included in the Unity package. So I'm actually going to deselect all by clicking this none button. I'm then going to include our demos folder with our demo scene, our prefabs folder with our player prefab. I'm then going to include just our player controller script and I'm going to include our spaceship model. Now at the moment, these are all the files that I need to include in this Unity package in order to make this asset self-contained, meaning that once I import this package, everything should be working properly. I can then click the export button, which will bring up a window for me to choose the location which I want this Unity package to be saved. Once I choose a location and a file name, I can then click save. 
And here you can see that we have our demo spaceship.unity package file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a different project and show you how to import a Unity package. All right, so here we have our Unity tutorial project open. And at the moment, this project does not have the same assets as our Unity package. So let's go ahead and import it. So to import a Unity package, all you have to do is go up to the Assets drop-down menu and then go to Import Package and then select Custom Package. You'll then want to find the location in which you saved your Unity package. And you're going to select it and then click Open. This will bring up another window, but this time, rather than showing the assets within your project, it's showing the assets within the Unity package. And here you can toggle on and off the assets that you want to import into your project. You're then going to click Import, and that'll load these files into your project window. So let's go ahead and open up our demo scene. And there we go, we now have the same scene that we had within our other project. And if I select our player prefab object, you'll notice that this object has the same scripts and the same components attached to it. And as a child to our player prefab object, we have our 3D modeled spaceship, which is right here. So that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to export and import Unity packages to your project. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and that you found it to be helpful. I also hope that you'll join our team and help us out with our collaborative project. Make sure that you like this video and leave any questions you have in the comments below. Also subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date on all our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.